example of what's going on in Illustrator, why it's rendering blue. These two guys over here are really important. These are the visible properties in terms of the fill color, which is, is the, the, the four color theorem criterion, uh, and then the stroke color. And you can toggle which one of these is active by simply clicking on them. So if I want to change the stroke color to black, I can highlight that so that the stroke is out and I can click black over here in my color dialog. Can you, can you drive your toolbar over because it, the resolution... Oh, it's not on it's not there. Good. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Can everybody see now? So let's, uh, California, what color do we want California to be? Any Californians here? I was, I'm going to make it uh, this color. And so if you toggle, do you see what this tool does? This exchanges the fill and stroke symbols. Um, so at this point, guys, I'm going to show you uh, one of the many shortcuts I'm going to show you in Illustrator today. I'm going to select all the states and change them all to a white fill color. And there's several ways I can do that. Uh, does anybody have one idea of how we can do that? What's select all in any software? Microsoft Word users. Control A. Control A works here. So if I hit Control A, you can see that all that geometry just selected. All that artwork is selected. So Control A, a lot of those same concepts, Control A, Control C, Control B, they do their thing in this software too, and I use them all the time. So like with any software, learning these shortcuts is very valuable. So I have all my states selected. And over here in color where it says question mark, it says question mark. Can you guys see that? Yeah. It says question mark because there's different fill colors and different stroke colors. So I'm going to make them all white and have them all have a black, oh, sorry, a black outline. Okay. So does everybody see what they're doing with that fill color and that stroke outline? Does everybody see that relationship? And so when I deselect this by clicking anywhere, now I have a bunch of white states. All right. Now I want to choose some states and make them different colors. So I'm going to click on non-ordering states like California and Oregon by holding the shift key down to multi-select states. And I'm just going to select a random grouping of states right now. That are not touching one another. And I'm going to mouse over to the right side of the screen where my color palette is on that spectrum and just click on a red. Oh, that's the stroke, so I'm going to switch that to a red fill. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do Idaho again, just if anybody didn't catch that, I'm going to isolate Idaho by itself, click on it. It's currently white fill with a black outline, and I'm going to make it uh, a yellow fill by making sure the fill tool is active, or orange in this case. All right, so everybody sees how I'm changing the colors of these polygons. So, yeah, uh, you're probably adjusting the stroke. So you might see that this fill X here, do you see on my screen? Are you looking at my screen? Do you see how the fill is ahead? Is the, is the stroke ahead in yours? Okay, you wanted the fill to be ahead. Okay, so now we're going to have work time because you're all doing it anyway. But the goal is to solve the four color theorem. If you have any basic problems, I'll walk around and help you. But make sure you fill all of your states in with four, exactly four colors. Um, and none of them touch uh, the same color.
So what I'm going to do is work for three minutes and solve it up here and then walk around and make sure you guys are all good. Do that right now. So let's say I, I make California and Texas this incredible shade of green. And I like it so much I want to take North Dakota and make it the same green. First trick of the day, <laughs> eyedropper tool. Eyedropper tool on my toolbar is right here. Can you see that? And with North Dakota selected, with North Dakota selected and my eyedropper tool active, I mouse over Texas and left click and voila. I have just copied the entire style of Texas and California to North Dakota. So I'm going to choose my four colors over here on the west coast and then use the eyedropper tool. Okay, so you can change that by clicking on a color you do like. In here. No, I want to have a original map, and I want to choose only four colors. So, uh, how to return to the basic color? Uh, because I have chosen so many. Uh, you can change them anytime you want. 
Yes, but I'd like to, to feel about, for example, how the show. Oh, what you need to do is highlight, with, when you're in the arrow, highlight a step. Now go to the eyebrow tool and choose the color here that you like. And if you want to do multiple states, press the shift key while you select each one. Then take the eyedropper. Okay, here's a uh, very helpful tip. We're going to use the Zoom tool. We're going to uh, get into New England. Um, whether you want to be there or not, we all are here in the beautiful May in New England. We're going to zoom in there because the states, as a cartographer, are hardest states to deal with. So I just clicked and dragged a box uh, using the magnifying glass tool down here uh, to this exact extent, and it put me right there in my artwork. Um, so I will go show you that again. The hand tool pans over, and then I use my uh, magnifying glass tool and I click and hold my left mouse button down and drag a box and then I am zoomed in on